how we're doing guys and yeah first ever episode of enshrouded got it early as a birthday present from the missus because of i just loved this game like every oh you know what i'm just so excited so yeah all i can say is i cannot wait to actually get cracking on with this game uh we did do we're doing quite well in um soul mask but unfortunately when this comes out this episode the soul mask demo would have finished um i don't know exactly how far we're getting on because i forget things i forget a lot of things even though i got it written down i forget a lot of things but yeah the best i got about this game is um obviously you originally start off as a flame born I'm, I'm not too sure on, on why in all fairness you would just got to basically survive is round about uh, about probably about 10 like about 30 40 hours um to probably complete the game uh i've seen some builds some people's builds are absolutely out of this world and i can't wait to get cracking on with them type of builds <coughs> oh, so sorry guys i have still suffered with a bit of a chesty cough um and a sore throat but i'm cracking on just to share my experience with you guys with Entrouded and other survival open world sort of games. Um, yeah, so it's basically what I got of this game is the realm of Embervale is lost. Um, it's just a game of survival craft and action RPG combat with its uh, sprawling voxel based con continent. As it journeys through the mountains and deserts of an open world you are free to choose your own path and shape your own destiny you know we got a, probably i think i saw on some we got to stop the rot which is a one quest line but it doesn't matter what quest lines you can do in any particular order but all i can say is is that this game is oh my god that spin oh i'm getting dizzy he's got the same hair as me not ginger i'm not ginger i got brown hair but he does have the same hair. oh chinese dude Oh, no, we're going to go with the first dude. Uh, the hair is literally like my hair, so sometimes I have it down like that. Other times I don't. I don't know. I don't want the fringe. That just gives me Monster Hunter vibes. The front of it. That gives me flipping... Uh, oh, what's the game? Wulong vibes. That's the same character I had on Wulong. Same hairstyle, we're gonna go with just that hairstyle. Have it as a dark brown. What type of hair I've got? Let's go for type of beard I have. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's a very bushy beard. About the same. for you let's name you right let's get this cracking right confirm confirm thank you uh let's go on to uh settings settings i'm just having a look and it is quite loud music Around about 80, probably have that as 79. Use it in the face, about 80. 80. Uh, voices, I quite like to have a bit higher. I like to hear what's going on. I think that's okay. Yeah, everything else is fine. This is our dude. Ooh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, we're going to do private, start a private game and save locally. Uh, we're gonna rename it. Uh, I can't spell for anything. Oh. I think that's how you spell it. Damned. Damn Ned. 
Verdammt nicht. Verdammt. Verdammt. No. I think it's MMD. Correct me if I'm wrong. Actually, that's actually... <laughs> Le I, I'm so sorry, guys. I, my English is just awful. Oh, yeah, he's right. It just looks wrong. Right, well, wor world of the damned. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure. A blessing. A weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Oh, damn. Elixir and blood. A drop for a drop. The art is really but beautiful. From the depths of the well, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. So we are what you call flameborn. It that just reminds me of Skyrim. To be perfectly honest, I don't know what's happened there. What the fudge happened there? Hopefully that went okay. I don't know why my comp computer decided just to go to sleep but where the where what the f so when i guarantee it, to me it looks like we're not the only flame born uh there's quite a few that have come out um over time i don't know probably how much time has passed so we've got one two three four there's four other four other ones that have been opened but they look like probably been open for some time so we'll probably meet them that'd be quite good so rb is to go around the wheel okay so d-pad go around so that okay. wow this is just beautiful guarantee we're in a mountain cinder vault Commune with the flame. We slumber for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the shroud. Now, the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create a shelter from the dark. So we unlocked a new recipe flame altar. Wrong button. Okay, all discovered recipes, yep. So we need five stone to create the flame altar there. What is our quest? So this actually claim a spot for your base. Planes for first bait. Oh my god, the map's actually quite nice. How big is the map? Oh my giddy giddy god, the map is huge. Okay. This is beautiful. Oh my god. I'm not, that is be this. I knew we're in a mountain. And I, I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling this so we I wonder so I have seen other, other like people's different builds and you can build into um you can build into the surface area or build underground which I find absolutely I find that so cool. 
Okay, I'm not going to set that as a uh, vast world ocean filled with secrets, press to navigate map discoveries. Yeah, we got, we got nothing. Read. On the flame and it murmurs. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it, protects it in a flaming core, wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite... Ugh. Despite a possessing voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations. Balthazar. Ba Bal... 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 Balthazar. Oh my god, me and my reading. People say I've got quite a nice voice, like to read. Oh yeah, I don't want to die straight away. I guarantee we will take full damage. This is just beautiful. Like I'm not gonna lie. Can we? Can we? Can we pick you up? Can we? Can I punch you? Okay, this is. This is going horribly wrong. The. The run and jump. Can we climb? Nope. Okay. <gasps> chest. What have we got? I like the way you just kick a chest. Uh, take all. Collect, collect. So we've got bandage, which will heal us. And we've got a torch, which will light our way. Okay, okay. So we can attack with the torch as well. That's that's not too... Oh my god, this is eerie. This is eerie as all... Fudgeticles. What the fudge? <laughs> this game. I'm, I'm actually in love with this game already. I can see myself spending many, many hours off cam and on cam and on stream. Oh, can I go? Can I go in there? I see a chest. I see a chest. Yes. Let's open you. What do we get? We get more torches. Let's take all. This game. This this is beautiful. It it it, it gives me sort of um. The way it's sort of, it, oh, I don't know how to explain it. It gives me sort of like a mixture of like Valheim sort of vibes. In the way like it's like sort of camera based in the way the person looks a little bit. The flame allows you to resit, re resit, blah, 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 resit the, resit, blah, blah, blah. The flame allows you to resit the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. The maximum amount of time in the shroud. Enshrouded. Can we attack this? So we've only got a certain amount of. Boom. Search. Take all. So we now have a sword. Let's go. So we've only got a certain amount of time in this area. Before we have to leave. There we go. So that little timer up top was just like an indicator. Like right you're running out of time mate. Okay I'm on profit. Come on you're running out of time. But I felt like I missed things. Okay so what does that do? I probably I does something naughty probably. Okay so keep an eye up top. So we can get rid of you. I wonder if we get rid of them all, the shroud will dissipate. Why does that look like? Why does it look like something can be behind there? To me, it just looks like something can be behind there. Right. Okay. So we took, did take some full damage. We didn't take any there. So that's quite nice. Uh, let's. Give ourselves a bit of health. Let's have a little run. So plus four health, that's actually not too bad. Workbench. Oh, nice. If you fall, you'll rise again at your last return beacon. Construction hammer. I wonder if we can... Okay. Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god, I've tried to keep away from... The mic as best as I can. 
with stuff like that. Oh, training dummy. Hello. There you go, I reached level two. Boom. While I quit with a shield, don't have a shield. Give me a shield. Maximum 100%. Okay, that's our stamina. Can we take a shield from you? We got a skill point. Uh, there are, there's our skills. Sneak attack, we need two. Uh, so we've got two skill points. Well rested. The base duration of rest or buff increased for five minutes. Increase your comfort in your home further increases to duration. You only need three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. We don't need that. Uh, the pickaxe does 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. Oh, that's quite nice. And lumberjack. Uh, okay. We're going to do Lumberjack. So I personally think we're going to do the crafting first. I'd prefer to get the crafting out of the way. Because then we can... So we got String. And this is Sleep. What's this? Read. Captain, Captain's Journal, Day 1. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One. Before he entered the hat with a handful of our best warriors, it was the first time I'd seen one of his kind. And I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to his sacred duty. Probably to get rid of the, the, the shroud. So this is an abandoned camp where they had to go in there. I guarantee they went in up there. Above my head is where we've just come from. Like, well, no, not up where we just come from, but that little cave in there, that little end cove. These guys probably uh, had to go through, and it was their, like, expedition to find, you know, why it was <clears throat> the shroud was going through, and then they set up base there. And probably they haven't come back. The, there were the probably people that we killed, actually. Uh, give me wood. I just destroyed the dude. Oh, wands plus one. Okay, so I didn't know that. We can just nice. We can collect bone. That's such a weird one. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie there. I never thought. I would never have thought of that. Collect bone. No way. That's a secret door. <gasps> Oh my god. So we can block normal. That is so cool. I can't wait to build secret bases. I'm just going to build secret bases everywhere. Don't leave my side. Jas Jasmina. Is it true? The ancients call upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber. Will you be there when I wake? Please. You cannot leave my side. You're, you're my all. Why, we, why must we charge? Why must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel together, side by side. You let me linger next to you. You held my hand, and now, all this secrecy. For what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All of my heart, Emily. Ah. So a love letter to Queen Jasmina. Damn. That looks like uh like a catapult has burst through and like they've had to like a make a a a uh sort of you know hasty escape and they put and some of the soldiers were probably still in the cave and that and they turned. Um I'm sorry dude, no bloody rats. I hate rats generally, let alone in the game. Wow. This is bloody mental, this. I love this. Oh, there's a sheep. Come here, sheep. Come here, goat. Yes. Give me animal fur. Oh, there's something over there. I don't want to miss anything. 
That's the thing. So there's more shroud. So there'll be more enemies. Scoop water. So you don't need to craft the water bowl. Ah, oh, that is such a that is such a time saver. So you don't need to craft one. You can just go to a well. You just build a well and then. Oh, that is. I'm not gonna lie there. That is. Oh, that's clever. Grilled mushroom. Okay. Place food in your action bar to select it and cook it. Oh. Nope, damn it. Hold X to cook. How long is it going to take? Is it done? Grilled lean meat. Nice. A good night's rest. Finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore, but the warmth of the fire, a little shelter and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They will make a nice meal for me when I cook out that cheeky little bugger. All right, let's destroy the bed. He, he said he hid it under the bed. Okay, I, I need to destroy the bed. Got more water, so we've got six water. Um, we don't really need to rest. We've got still two-ish minutes of, of rest. Okay, so what's that? Ah. So that was a parry. And then no heavy attack, heavy attacks. Uh, torn cloth. Come on, Em. Bring it. Oh god, missed that. Right, let's bandage. Wait, why did what? Well, that happened. My first death ever, and that was me being silly. Will it let me see where I died? Yes, it will. Absolutely. Oh, and we still get all our stuff. Uh -huh. That's quite unusual. That I never would have thought of that. What's that? It's a wooden arrow, but I don't have a sword. I don't have a bow. If I had a bow, it would make sense, but I don't have one. If I had one, it would make a lot of sense. Uh, let's just... Okay. Ah, right. Let's bandage. Let's get our sword. Where did I go? Right, let's open you. Let's see what's around here. Absolutely nothing. I can't see anything, so there's nothing. Quickly get all our stuff. Fall into ruin. We held out hope, digging through the rubble. Damn it. Come on in. There we go. Give me all of it. Give me all. Give me all. Give me all. Retrieve. Thank you. So we've got everything. Wood logs, animal fur, fur patch, right. Fall into ruin. We held out hope, digging through the rubble, our lips whispering prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye towards the horizon. Even in the furthest corner of the world, the shroud threatens to engulf us and seal us away. Any ray of hope. As the air grew thick with that cursed fog, we held on. As fires raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on howling pike. We pushed harder. May this home, long kept, usher us into the brighter age. Oh, that's quite good. So they were trying to, you know, uh, prolong the inevitable, as it seems. As it looks. They were trying to prolong the inevitable. The shroud looms. The blue jays are no longer drift so care carelessly through the air. Something is changing. Nebula follows, uh, follows towards us, springs from the abyss like a tidal wave. They call it the Shroud. It carries disease and suffering, changes soil and people. I must understand this madness, but discovering a remedy will be difficult. With the supply lines cut off by the soldiers, Balthazar. Okay. Nope, nothing in there. There's a chest. Ooh, 
Nice, more water. Let's get rid of you. Okay, so what does that do? Okay. Ah, oh, we need lockpick. Okay, that makes sense. Loot. Just plant fire bar. Examine. No, dismantle. <gasps> that is actually so cool. You can dismantle our books. I don't know why you why you want to, but that is actually quite cool. You can dismantle our books. Uh, let's try and destroy this. Loot. There we go. Oh, what we? Oh, recipe unlocked. Right, let's have a look at. Oh, we can craft you. Oh, that's pretty cool, that. Oh, so you can just craft. Construction hammer. Nice. Uh, flame mortar. Um, okay, that's actually pretty decent, that. You don't need to, like, you know, craft the, the minimum. I don't want a wand. Staff would be cool. Actually, let's see what a wand will do. Um, I've got you now. Uh, we need pickaxe and thingy. Um, let's sort of... Oh, yeah, we're, we're running low. Wait, we should be able to... Where the hell is our backpack? Where's our lockpick? Oh, no, we unlocked the recipe. That's what we did. So we've got another minute left in the shroud. Here we go. Our first night. So right, we're just going to quickly now sort everything out. We're going to head uh, equip. Where's a wand? Wait, no, that's a wooden arrow. Uh... No, oh, for God's sake, I don't want to use you. Um, I wonder if you can just move. Oh, okay. So you can switch him to have that one. That's a bit... Okay, we've got club axe. Why not? Uh, I need to get used to sort... Ah, oh, right, there we go. Okay, so now we've got a torch and everything else. Let's go for wand. Okay, that's... Semi decent, that actually. Who are you? Okay, I can understand. I I can understand like mages probably early on just OP, maybe. Especially if you like lightning and fire and stuff like that. Oh my god, that would be considerably OP. Right, so let's do 12. That's actually not too bad, to be honest. We got shroud something. So this is where our enemy slain. Alright, what's that? Loot. Animal fur. Nice. So this is where we can sort of look to build our base. It's, you know what? It's not too shabby. We can start. Location reached. Okay, we've got nothing there. We've got... <coughs> uh, flame oil, I will craft you. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Oh. Um, do I need... I need twigs. And more twigs. Build a construction hammer. Why not? Uh, I'll be in that. Let's place you down. Oh, no, it's X place. There we go. Commune with the flame. You are not alone. There are other survivors. Drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One, be one beacon's nearby. One beckons nearby. Just outside of the shroud's grasp. Mm, strength of the flame. Okay. That's pretty cool, that. So, this is what find the sleeping survivor. One thing we're going to do. Enter building mode. 
Select so shapes you want to build with. Okay, select the material you want to build. Okay. And then open the sub menu to select different shapes. Oh, wow. Okay, so. I have no idea. I got no material, so. Uh, let's finish. I need to get. What do I need to get? I need twigs and other stuff. Let's collect fiery lamp at workbench. That's alright then. Collect. Nice, nice, nice. Sorry, I'm just a bit. I was just a little teeny bit into Zoom. So we got rag. We got more rag. Uh, we got some mushroom. Can we see it on the map? Yeah, so we can see our thing on the map. Uh, there's Long Keep. That's where we were. Okay, okay. So we can build something cute. We can build something cute. I need to get a hatchet or something. Twigs. 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 Stone. Uh, what can I build now? Let's have a look. I can build an axe. And I need more twigs and more string. Of course. String coming out of the wazoo. Uh, axe. Thanks. What can I cut down? What can I cut down with a drunken sailor? What can I cut down with a drunken sailor? Let's go and cut the cut the tree early in the morning. Oh my god! Let keep going, mate. Keep going. I was not expecting him to go that fast. Oh my god! All right, let's see about this. Tree. Faster, 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 faster. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that was actually quite rapid. Um, um, wow. I need more twigs. For God's sake, man. I need more twiggies. More twiggies. No, I've got purple berries. All I need is twigs. Please, give me some twigs. Thank you. Uh, we've now got pickaxe from craft, which should be down there. There you go. Right. Mine. Dang. I love if it got a bit faster though. It was like this is like 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 the chopping of the tree. So we're getting quite a bit of um uh loot per se. I quite like this sort of Oh. Okay. That's actually pretty cool that. No. Oh. Damn it, wrong one. No, I'm just getting sort of Valheim sort of vibes from just just the way it is, if that makes sense. Just the way it is. Uh, I want to build that into my base. Hi guys, as you can tell, I'm speeding out for you, just to make it a bit quick, just to show you how my process went with my first sort of building experience where I use different blocks checked on different types of terrain which materials i can use uh just crafting my bench now going to be looking at probably doing a rough wood block stages i'll do that in a second uh i'm just literally going through about what types of materials we can go through as you can see i'm creating a little wood mud wall and now using stone blocks as trains actually you don't need to actually have that in as a sort of it doesn't need to be attached See here, I'm recreating a rough wood block. This is where I'm going to be using as my foundations to create a, a basics template on how big, how wide, and how long my base will actually be. I'm creating it as sort of L shape. As you can see, it's a little bit finicky, but I've got to admit, you can make it into your own unique shape, which is one thing I damn well love about this game. I've only got to play about two, three hours into this game, so it's not really a lot, but it will get there in the end. I'll get more hours, get, and then obviously as you level up, you will 
um, get more materials, more unlock, more crafting materials, and everything else. Sorry, I got a bit of a sore throat, but you can see, look, just a basic outline as I'm creating just an L shape. It's a little bit finicky. Uh, I was a bit skeptical, skeptical at first because of I didn't realize it was going to be controller support as well, full controller support. And as you can see, in some cases, the controller does come in handy, makes it a bit more relaxed, a bit more easier. Uh, now just collecting resources just to make sure we carry on with the loot and um, building everything else, building just uh, the stone blocks at the, at the moment. And you can actually build scaffolding, which I absolutely love. Right, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just thought I'd just head over here. Just say hello. Jesus. No need to be so temperamental. It'd probably be a lot better. Oh. Come on then, let's go. Might as well just explore, get this over and done with. Oh, no, yep. Get another sword. Get another one of you. Another one of you. Absolutely beautiful. I am not letting you blow up in my face. Or you. Oh dear. Oh, chest. Nice. What do we get? Stone arrow equipable. We got a full backpack though, so what can we get rid of? Uh, we need resin. Rusty sword. Uh, let's sort inventory. Delete. Delete. Get everything. Loot you. A string. Only got a little bit left down here. I think that's it. I think that's everything around here. Okay, right. So, hey guys, uh, just thought I'd uh, have a little newsy, see what this place is all about. The real estate is a bit is is not the greatest, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to see what it's all about. See, collect more things. Uh, I've literally just got the foundation laid out. Uh, I've gone for a nice L shape, as you can see here. Uh, I didn't know that you can craft. I, I crud you not. This is awesome. The amount of detail has gone into it is awesome. Uh, where is it? You can craft the bloody scaffold. You can craft a bloody scaffold. That is just clever. Hey guys, so what I'm going to be doing here is building a door and figuring out where to put it. But also as well, building uh, like uh, wooden beams to give that sort of aesthetic feel. I was fiddling around with the way the different shapes are for like the out outlook of it. Like I was fiddling around with the walls and then I come across how you can create these like wooden beams. I was testing about see where to put it, see how it would look on the outside and like sort of try and create it aesthetically pleasing so i'll say i didn't do too bad the mechanics in this game the game mechanics in this get uh building mechanics in this game is absolutely astonishing i love the way it is uh i was building around playing around with all the different materials still trying to build a chest so i can put more stuff in and make it a bit more organized i was doing by hand the stone walls because i didn't like the way the actual uh blockade of the walls looked so I'd rather prefer to do it by hand. Added a bit of uh, framed windows instead of an actual window, which I'll probably l unlock later on as I level up. Uh, different sort of aesthetic pleasing um, materials and how certain things look. As you can see, I tried to sort of make it into a tavern sort of thing. I tried making sure everything was sort of level on how it looked and everything. Um, right here is later on, I will need to move that into a double window because I realized that the shape, it wasn't wide enough. It didn't look right having it in the middle. 
Um, playing it through the night, building it through the night, through the day is still easy to do because I like the way the actual edge and of the sort of uh, frame of the little blocks are can sort of highlight and illuminate where you're building. So I just love that sort of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sort of thing. So as you can see, that was a bit finicky on whereabouts to put it. Uh, doing it by hand, doing it block block by block is actually it can it, I see it as very very rewarding in some cases because um, then you can make it into you sort of look like it you sort of make it feel like it's your own uh, this is where I realised where you can make plant fibre roofs um, and was trying to sort of make a sort of thatch fibre roof uh, building a scaffolding was absolutely amazing I love that sort of uh, <clears throat> sort of um, trying to find the words here Uh, sort of, it, it it was something completely different. I never had a game where you can sort of you build your own scaffold and actually looks like a construction site at first. You see the the your picture in your mind and you can sort of put it out instead of just like saying like use an arc. You use like an like an argent or or another flying mount to sort of go through it there and everything else like that. It's quite cool just to see how it is working i'm putting down the frames of the roof to make it a bit more aesthetically pleasing i was picturing on the cross beams actually putting down like a chandelier going through different heights making sh uh putting down like a beam going up to sort of see how high i can have the roof um or how high i wanted the roof this is where i figured i needed to destroy the block block piece roof um i did mess up a little bit i did destroy a bit too many blocks uh, and this is where it became a bit more finicky because I had to figure out how would would it piece together and how it would look because of uh, the way it, it sort of snapped together made it a bit too l long. Like it, it made it too lower compared to the corner pieces. So it was a bit finicky at first to make it all snap together. Like that. But I'd say I didn't do too bad with the roofing. It was a bit, eh, as you can see, it's a bit touchy-touchy uh, here and there. But the way you can turn the snapping on and off, so it can make it easier if you want it to snap or you want to just do it on your own. This is where I figured, okay, this is how it's going to look. I'm going to have to take this down, take down the pillars, take down the door and make it a bit more wider so it actually fits. So the roof actually fits in and you don't have no overlapping, which in all fairness made it actually look a bit nicer, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it didn't take me that long, it took me about 20 minutes of extra time to sort of build it up together, make it look like. And then this is where I added another window frame and it actually looked a lot better to add another window frame. I uh, wish the door was a little bit better. Um, I didn't figure out uh, that I missed a wooden beam up top until probably about 20, 30 minutes in. And then I realized everything else don't fit, it needs to sort of be moved together sort of a bit better like the wooden beams aren't exactly central with the flooring or the roof and everything else so it just sort of after that little mistake it, it's you learn as you go and this is one thing I, I love about this game is it can be sort of forgiving even though i've only played about two three hours of it it can be very forgiving uh it was messing around with the terrain sort of so it doesn't look like the actual building is floating above the ground uh, the illumination, I absolutely love it. So I made two or three illuminations. I made, I think I made a candle because I discovered a beehive just to the top north of here.
the way they took the oh my god war they took the pikeman's reach they killed killed king gormanda an army a little bit a little bit tongue died an army of lunatics sick sickly pale barely lifting their feet above the bloody ground they dragged themselves through our valleys through the miasma led by the mad guard of the north vorgoth i always knew the elixir would sow a seed of distrust i look up at the ancient spire at the sky there is no running no hiding we must preserve balsadar i can't speak at all this is just beautiful so this is what we've well what i have done uh i would say i've done not too bad okay yep a bit of fast time a bit fast forward uh sort of you know hut slash tavernish sort of feel to it you know that's what it sort of reminds me of like a a mini sort of tavern that you see along the road so you got the main road there kind of loops around probably be quite nice to have like a little pathway see the pathway is literally leading to the door you know a couple of horses fallen trees this is where the like you know sort of meat happens the fire's here so it's all beautiful it's all lovely uh, I was trying to do something uh, let's move you into you and then okay let's sort of turn this around and probably have it I would say probably there okay so we can cook what can we cook nothing oh my god what have I done I've done something I press B by accident I didn't mean to press B no 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 what have I done what have I done no 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 what have I done no 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 what the fudge tickles have I done? Uh oh. Uh, let's make a night stand. Uh, we need a candle. We need resin. We got plant fiber, firefly lamp, skull lamp. Standing torch. I would like a wall torch to be honest. So we need resin. So let's go chopping down trees, shall we? Don't mind me. Chop, chop, chop. Uh, hopefully I can sort of see where I'm going. Wood logs, no. Probably the big guys, but this game is absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys are liking it. If you if you actually um got it. If not, I hopefully I'm entertained enough to actually, you know, uh, make you guys enjoy it. All I can say is I'm having a, I am literally loving it. The actual building aspect is, I didn't mean for that. Uh, the actual building aspect is goddamn beautiful. I really, really do love it. So we've got decorative doors, windows, fences. Uh, we've got particularly no doors, really. Uh, let's create one more so it is the time uh, I'd like one here so that would be quite nice to have one there where is it do you with you still can't get used to the way you change it uh, that's sort of bang on in the middle so I'd say there that is actually spot on in the middle love it love it love it love it we should have made we've made a bed i swear oh yes right uh you and you uh in all fairness the bed is going here right by this window right by so that is fully in yeah nice and then we do have a nightstand, I believe. Yeah. Nope. So, you and you. You can get put there. Oh, to rotate. 
Are you actually going to lock on in the floors? Uh, yeah, that actually looks quite nice. And then, because of the wall and the windows, I know exactly a line. It's a line with that, but it ain't a line with all this. So I'm going to put like a chest of drawers here. Uh, maybe move you to in the corner here. Okay, so we picked you up. Let's see if this will go well. Oh, that's a bit annoying. Right, let's see if I can't. I don't want to rotate. Oh. Oh. I think I found it. Oh, God. Flam it. Uh, yeah, there we go. Snap right in there. Do you know what? Yep, that that looks okay. That actually does look all right, actually. So, oh god, what the hell's happened there? That is not the same length as that. Uh, let's actually sort that out. And you and oh. Uh, you right so you're there so that means go to you go to you okay that's why right it's not exactly a line a line but then that shouldn't matter because we're gonna have that in it that's why it's that's why it's bugging me that's why that's why you're goddamn bugging me you little bugger uh you and you okay right let's get the hammer out more shapes and beams. Lovely, lovely beams. Uh, let's do with you. So that means you go there. Just above. Just above. One and two. That should be nicely done. Three. Oh my god, that was not nicely done at all. Uh, treat. There we go. That is actually a lot nicer. Right, then we have these beams going across you. It's not exactly level. I need you level. Oh, level. Have some trouble. Yeah, that's what I need you. I need you level. Everything has to be sort of asymmetrical. So that means you will have to be down. You will have to be down. You will have to. Actually, I quite like the way it's got. So that means you be resting on top. Oh, yeah, that actually goes quite nicely, actually. So that's basically the support beam. Yeah, I'll say that's going quite well. One, and. And. A bit further in. Let's see what happens. All right. One more. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I would like like uh, like an actual chandelier sort of thing. That would be really, really nice. I need a post up there. Uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in some trouble. That's actually not touching. And this one is not central. So that's a bit... Mm. It's a bit, it looks central, but it's not central. I need it to be moved over one. Because then it goes with... But then it doesn't line up with that. Well, it does, actually. Actually, it does. That lines up perfectly, actually. I'm going a bit nuts. There we go. If we look at it like that, that actually lines up perfectly. It's just because of the way the angle is weirded out. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, I am actually... You know what? I'm actually proud of this. I'm I'm proud. I haven't figured out how to. Why are you further out than that? Okay, I didn't realise that. It looks like we've got a slumpy roof. Actually, is it? No, this is further out than this. Yeah. No, there's a few tweaks that I can do, but for the first time build, I'd say that's not too bad. To be perfectly honest, that is actually. 
not too bad excuse the screenshot but that is actually not too bad I really do like that right let's go with a table hopefully we can just craft a table here Uh, no, can't craft table. So we need to craft table and chairs to go around the fire and stuff like that. Uh, do, 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 do. Crude wooden side table, crude wooden table. Yep. Uh, chairs. Yep, yep, yep. Right, let's see where this goes. Uh,. Hmm. Hmm. That's my bed, so. Maybe here. And then. Chairs. Another one. Sort of squiffy. And then the other one sort of straight. Yeah, actually, that's not too bad. That's actually not too shabby at all, my friends. At all. We got another table anyway, so. No, not delete. Move you in. Use item. Uh, do do. To do, no. I don't want you right by the door. Let's have you. Well, you're sort of by a window, so why don't we just bring you feather in there? No, let's pick you up. Uh. I'd say there. That's alright. I say that's enough to get chairs in. I would say that works in our favour. Uh, we'll add a candle. You know what? I'd say uh, that's coming along quite nicely, actually. I would say that's coming along very, very nicely. Don't mind me, I'm just taking screenshots. Because I love it. Uh, what else do we need? Well, actually, we've got dishes, actually. We've got five. Why don't we bring some in there? Uh, uh, we don't need chairs, don't need more dishes. Manual crafting, campfire? No, because we got a thingy. Okay, so let's put a bowl down. Wait, is that a massive bloody bowl? I don't know. Uh, let's put a bowl in it for it to share with everyone. One and two. One and two. Let's bring that over there. So we now got mugs. Right, guys. I would actually say that this is actually turning out to be absolutely stunning. There's still a bit of tinkering to do, but the basic layout, I, I would say that's flipping top knots for me. And as well, you can build a scaffolding, which, oh my god, it helps. Forgive that little lip. Uh, there's mm, so many times I can fix that. Oh, it took me about an hour-ish to try and sort that out. It's not the most perfect one in the world, but with time and patience, there it will be better. And the more I figure out how the, you know, how all the uh, building mechanics work, I slowly figured out. I got me. I quite like this sort of tavern 
looking um tavern looking house that I've that I've that I've created. I really do like it. I I am actually in love with it. Not enough free space. What are you on about free space, man? There we go. There's my little built in area. It's perfect. Everything's sort of moving in. Commune with the flame. So this is what we need to upgrade. So we need resin, red mushroom, bone, shroud, liquid, spark, animal fur. We got animal fur. We got bones. We got red mushroom. We got resin. So all we need is to upgrade that is the spark and shroud liquid. Shroud passage level two. Time. Oh, okay. So it upgrades. Uh, oh, a level building. Oh, okay. So it doubles the. Oh my god. So it doubles the area. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god, it doubles the air. Oh my god, it doubles the air. Oh my god. Where the hell is my flipping uh, thingy axe? I'd put it somewhere now. I don't know where the hell it is. Where is my axe? My Oh, there it is. Lose my marbles. So, if I show you the area when you first start off, this is the area. So, I've just built a tiny little dot in the area that we actually are allowed to build in which to be honest is massive and we can build indoors um inside which i think is oh schnitzel oh no i seem to have pressed b on something oh my god i don't know what i've pressed b on what have i pressed b on Ooh. i'm gonna get out of that Oh my god, so this is the area that we can build upon and In all fairness guys, um, that's going to be it for this first episode. We have done absolutely Beautiful for our first little house Wouldn't you say so that is absolutely stunning. I like the way I've sort of obviously when you place the fire You build upon it So I built upon it. I added the the stone terrain on each little nodule so it looks like it's floating and i say i can't i i there's still like maybe a fine tune bits but this is our first our first shower so it's not going to be anything fancy uh the more i get into the game obviously the more i will unlock different probably building materials building uh building shapes to building frames uh and uh like probably obsidian on steel a refined steel and other stuff like that so this is just basically a wooden stone sort of in my head this is sort of like maybe um an outer back tavern where you can just you've been on the road for days and you come in and everyone is a bit you know you're a bit absolutely knackered you know, you spend like three months on the road in the middle of nowhere and you come up into this tavern and people are there drinking and the owner is drinking apart uh, with them and getting like, you know, uh, drinking with them and having a laugh and you can look around here and see his bed and where he is and where he sleeps and got a fire. I'm thinking about adding another fire there. So when you come in, it's just whomp, get it smacked in the face with a wall of heat. Uh, possibly another fire here. I would like it if I w you were able to get like chandeliers. That would be quite nice because in these little corners, I'm gonna add a notch there. Where the hell? Ah, oh, that's where you are. You cheeky so and so. Oh, you cheeky little fudgedicle. I knew it. There we go. Hold it. One more. One more. Nope. There we go. Boom. I knew it. I knew I missed something. I'm going to add another pole straight up. Uh, leave that as is. I like the little cross section there and the cross section there. I might add another cross section here. Um, so it just looks aesthetically pleasing. And then if we can unlock chandeliers, there'll be chandeliers there. Chand chandeliers up there. Mm. I've just done it again. Stay. I need to stop touching stuff. So, 
Oh my god. So that one just up there where the um, X meets and the X meets and everything else and the X meets there. Uh, hopefully you can get chandeliers. Um, but yeah, uh, everyone, if you liked the episode, uh, give a like, give a subscribe, and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Alright. Peace.